Welcome back. This is Tio Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. And yes, um, you know, we've had so much fun on the show yeah, today. Yeah, we you have. Know? You know, we're keeping it less talk, you know, more music and more vibes for you guys. Okay. So, you know, okay. yeah, it's uh, still in the spirit of Christmas, you know, just not to get you guys bored. But, you know, we still have to discuss a few more stories. And this one is on Mara Carey, who is um, to host of virtually Airbnb Dome New Year's Eve, um, um, you know, event. And the vacation rental company is offering this unbelie unbelievable one night stay under the New Year's Eve ball at Times Square. The, at Times Square, <laughs> the lucky person who books this, along with their guests, will stay on Nasdaq's outdoor terrace, where they will sleep and chill inside their very own geodesic dome with panoramic views of the crystal ball and the Big Apple, for that matter. Mario's virtual hosting duties include that serenading the lucky guest plus there's also a five thousand dollars shopping credit for shops along along fifth avenue or local Times square shops hmm. what do you think of no, this no, let me go and book my airbnb in it you know and it's going for a lot of twelve dollars you know i know it's a crazy thing yeah it is and i i think i think well before we even well, focus it's not on inv invasive like would they know when they are booking the room that that's what's going to happen Yes, yes. Okay, no, no, you're okay. actually booking it. That's why it's okay. in the news already. Right. That look. So a lot no, of people. No, but like the exact Airbnb that you should go and book. Yes, no, but. So it's to be fast, fastest finger first. Okay, do you know so what I mean? Like, how do you book the Airbnb knowing that that's Maracari zone? You're actually going to be booking um for the Maracari concert. You know, right. making sure that you are part of the people. So the earlier it's mm. first come first serve. Basic yeah, same. basic. Okay. So right. you can book an Airbnb, but it won't be for this. Do yeah, you understand? Yeah, 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 so yeah. there are some people that are out there right now. They are struggling. I'm, I'm airport to airport. Like man, I must be part of this. And then have you seen the images of what the Airbnb place would look like? Mm. It's absolutely beautiful. You know, it looks like a tent. You know, mm. that looks like a place. You know, somewhere you just want to be booed up. You know, the booed up gang i don't know you you want to be booed up you know what i mean mm. yeah it's, it's for the booed up gang you know mm. this thing is actually very very romantic so if you're thinking about a place to go and propose to your girl right Yay. now i think this is like the best and then if mario carry is saying oh my god she'll just sing one hey, song for, and then the, the, if she, even if she doesn't want to say yes she doesn't like you that hmm. song <laughs> Hmm. She'll say yes and divorce you next year. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, first off, she will say yes. I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah but I think I, I think it's really amazing that um, you know, that really went down and then she's actually taken. But one thing I took away from all of this is that man, we need to be a little bit more innovative, especially uh, our, our African artists. I don't want to focus on Nigeria now. You see a lot of these international stars, you know, taking different steps to um, making sure that they still stay in touch with their fans regardless. Do you understand but you see a lot of these people just you know on the low complaining COVID-19 you know this is a way to stay in touch you know take some people out to a hotel you know mm. maybe just five people and then just give them a, an, a, an, an, an exclusive show mm. and then they get to post it on their page mm. their own followers are seeing what you're doing you know you're still keeping in touch with the fans and you stay connected you know when Rema did that thing and he took a lucky fan out yeah. you know that's a way of connecting yeah. so I think we shouldn't just stop oh because of COVID-19 the world should stop the world shouldn't stop mm. let's keep going let's keep making that money because it's really important what do you yeah. think I mean I, I think for me that was the same thing as well that mm. we should have more of that in Nigeria I don't think the artists are doing a good job at that giving back spirit mm, mm -hmm. and giving back in a in a way that's really thoughtful not mm -hmm. just a uh, give away like tag three people under my post and then I'll pick randomly like something really thought after and you make somebody feel special and you know you're really um, connected to your fans and stuff that's why I really like that Remus thing that you just mentioned mm. uh, it was such a breath of fresh air because we've never really seen that, seen that. by now whiskey should have gone on like 10 of Date. those <laughs> since he's you know since his yeah. period and so especially when you're so influential like you'd see um what's it called um justin bieber in people's houses mm -hmm. giving them like surprise mm -hmm. visits mm -hmm. okay another person is um adekunle gold i yeah, think he did a really did good job like mm -hmm. in terms in, in trying to Even connect the with bad this guy. Well, not during the COVID. Yeah, yeah, well, during yeah. The COVID. but even um, for, uh, Justin Bieber, you would go to people's houses or he would um, involve himself in like um, family, like just surprise families and really, it's really sweet in my opinion. I, and I think we need to do more of that. But I think over here too, we're a little bit more money conscious and mm. we don't really have a giving spirit in my opinion. I think there's way, like the disparity between who the people who do it 
and the people who don't are is, is way too big. All right, so um, this brings me back to the um, DMW concert, which is supposed to come up on the 28th. I'm supposed that. Nah, don't say you heard it from me, but, you know, a little bit told me that oh, it may be postponed, gosh. but, you know, just a little bit, and I may be wrong. You never know, but, you know, I'm just giving you a heads up in case you have things planned. Start planning a plan B. Yes. But, um, you know, this is for the David O concert. When I saw a table for 5 million, to book a table, 5 million naira. Mm. And in my opinion, I'm like... Five million naira in this pandemic season. Ha, Econom bro, are you playing? No, I know people are making ha. money, but no, that's Five is million, not, somebody's 50,000 naira. Don't it's play. It's not for it. the regular. That's what I'm saying. Now, that's the giving back spirit we're talking about. No, I'm not talking about that, so please make your money in your concert, JJ. If you want to put 10 million Five on your million table, naira. I'm talking about when you're not making money, when you're not making concerts, like in your daily life, why can't you just give one um, fan? A, an attention think, or something think, be think, creative. I think this year has been, you know, crazy enough. Yeah, like you said, it might be somebody else's uh, 50,000 naira, but at the end of the day, we all want to be happy. We all want to connect with them. If you're, what so, are you saying? That 5 million is too much to charge? For a table. Ah. Really? This period? Really? This period? This are you period? playing? Do you, know, do you know how many people have made millions? Many? Okay, so if we're, if we're talking in terms of ratio, do you know how many people and have made And it's in that ratio. But they not ask the people who have not made a dime to go and do five million naira. But the people now. that haven't made a dime are also your fans. How about it's, that? Is it, it all the tables that are five million? There's, there's no other. Two million. Uh -uh, million how about there's, there's even people with no table? 10K, exactly. You do the one 5K. that you can do. And mm. bear in mind that five million is a table. It's not actually and one it will seat. come with some freebies as exactly. well. Exactly. It's okay. Uh, well, if five million naira. I don't consider anything freebies. If I pay five million, I want uh -uh. everything. And you see, people. Hold, he, he's, <laughs> I think it's even smart because you have to cater for everything. Everybody. everybody there's yeah. some people that just want that type that of exclusivity mm. and they have the money to spend what am i going to do with the table for mm. five million but i'm sure my, there'll be a tax bracket no, for, I'll for my I'll, kind I'll, I'll get a table for five After, million I, I respect that for let's go yeah, you said on go. national tv it's happening yeah Damn. yeah, yeah five, five million there yeah, my I mean, fifty thousand. Yeah, come, come like, what are you talking that? about man i can afford it of now. course in fact i'm doing two tables okay for a lucky fan hit me up you know if you have my um instagram at mr fire you know just follow up mr fire send me a dm and maybe i'll get you i'll put you on my table but you know yeah i'm also mr fire one on twitter you already know and um talk of if you my on talk to you for my but talk. i'm not buying anybody table so please don't text me no no she'll be there so in case you <laughs> want to say talk to you for my you know you can tell her and be like are you gonna be there what time will you be there you know just get information from oh her when she's gonna be goodness. with me yeah but that's what it is and she then that's how we more. say um thank you for watching and of course you can join the show by the conversation on social media with the hashtag tea time or tweet at us at plus tv africa remember you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive contents by subscribing to our youtube channel at plus tv africa you can also watch tea time on Alto tv and in london on ben television my thank you will always go to my co-anchor ifair or my and the entire production team peace and love and we'll see you tomorrow